first day, uh, first day of the new stream skin, and we're having problems already. But anyway, the King's Avatar Season Two, Episode Ten. All right, updated the putayo. Now, uh, regarding this episode, <clears throat> a bit um, a bit toned down, but the fight sequences, wow. All right. The fact of the matter is, Yeju is using another account. Uh, binili niya to. Medyo malakas na, may kalakasan eh. Uh, just to infiltrate a, a guild. Uh, he eventually meets, ayun nga, someone from another guild. At nakilala niya pala ito, noong, uh, in all the years that he's been in the finals of the... Uh, of the, gro the Glory Pro the gl Glory Pro League Championship. Parati niya nakakalaban sa finals to. Mas nauna pa sa kanyang mag-retire. Right? He, he failed to recruit that guy. But now, uh, their eyes are now on this cleric. Yeah. Yung pala lalaki, ang owner. <laughs> Alam nyo, it's not common, okay? It's not common that, um, yeah, that uh, that a male player or that a male that someone basically will um, will create an avatar uh, of another gender. All right. May mga na, may mga encounter na ako mga players sa ganon sa in all the online games I played uh, all those years ago. Yung pala ano? Akala mo babae, babae yung avatar pero ang nasa likod pala nun lalaki. <laughs> Yung pala, Becky. Meron din mga lalaking ab avatar na lalaki ng itsura. Yung pala, ang owner ng account na yun, e babae. Alright? But that doesn't mean na uh, yun ang gender preference nila. They just, they just, uh, they're just holding on. They're trying to, uh, what's it called this? Do their very best to, to keep their, uh, to keep their offline lives private. It's also a way of doing that. Eh. But anyway, final scene, yun nga, sinabi ni Yeju, let's get down, now, let's get down to business. Ayan, so, the usual double dealing, okay, para, para siya makapasok sa kabilang guild, yun nga, eventually, na, na meet niya ang dalawang player na to. Okay. Overall, it's a good episode. It's a good episode. I'll, I'll give it to that, okay? I'll give it to that. It's a really good episode. Mainly because na may nakilala siyang na, na, tawag ito? Nakita sila uli ng player ng uh, dating player ng team na parati nila tinatalo sa finals when he was with Excellent Era. So, kumaga, kumaga throwback mode si na throwback mode si Yeju when he met that player again in the same in, in here in glory tapos yun nga nasak siya yung babaeng cleric na parati para tumutulong sa kanya walang yan lalaki pala owner ng account <laughs> na, na, na gets niya eh madaling baka na ta si Yeju eh kung sino mga players sa likod ng avatar eh. being uh, being a long time player of glory Kumaga, una, unang galo pala ng avatar na yon alam na niya eh. Na, nakakalata na niya. So, pacing. Uh, well, pacing, yeah, they've, they've improved on it. Ang laki na naging improvement. So, hindi na masyadong, uh, tawag dito, hindi na ganun kabilis dumaldal yung mga voice actors na Chinese. So, yung subtitles, uh, nababasa mo na. May nakukuha na ng mata ko. Nakukuha na ng mata ko eh. Yung flow, yeah. It's good. Plot is basically good because he's, the plot is, um, the plot is decent because he's done this before. <laughs> he's done this before. Alam natin lahat dyan, in season 2. This is only the second time he's done it. Na mag-infiltrate ng guild. But this time, dito, he used another account. An account that he actually bought from he bought from his uh, from one of his broker connections. Okay, so 
The King's Avatar Season 2 Episode 10 One thumb up lang One thumb up lang Right Why? Kasi Um It's the road to the finale Okay We're now just Uh We're now now Two episodes Bago magtapos ang Season 2 Right after after ten, after episode ten, yeah, it's down to just two episodes. Medyo sana. No, no. Um, dapat sana they they might have um given us a a more uh, a more slam bang na uh, more slam bang fight sequences, okay. Pero uh, it's understandable kasi the goal of Yeju here is to. Uh, is to scout for good players for for his own pro team. Right? Yun ang goal ni Yeju rito. Uh, it's understandable. Kung ganun lang ka... Kung, baga, kung ganun lang ka galing yung episode na to. Alright? Kasi ang... Uh, the anim- probably the animators wanted to wanted to stick to Yeshu's original goal of he's going to infiltrate another guild to scout for for potential recruits. Right? Nothing wrong with this. Nothing wrong with what he's doing. Okay? This is in this is online gaming politics. Okay? At its um, at its best. Uh, I've personally seen it. Kasi I've, uh, I was into online gaming in from the early to mid 2000s. During its infancy, basically it's in basically it's infancy. I was there during the uh, nga, early to mid 2000s. Talaga, babanda ako sa online gaming nun. I've seen the politics behind it, alright. Pero ibang klase ang King's Avatar. <laughs> ibang klase kung mamuliti ka tong si Yeshu. So again, the King's Avatar season two episode ten. Tanyo two episodes na lang. One thumb up. Right? One thumb up. So, we're now down to... Uh, the last episode before the finale of Season 2. So, we gotta wait for that. Right? We gotta wait for that. I'm standing on 1 million lives, Episode 8. Wow. Alright? I never knew Yusuke can be that ruthless. Okay. As a result, nakapatay sila ng human character. But uh, in the final scene, okay, uh, I don't. I think you've uh, you've already seen uh, the B-roll. See the B-roll. He's already ranked down as a consequence. Okay. So they were able to. Um, they were able to rescue uh, the three the three hostages from these uh, from these militants. Na rescue nila. Now, um, what call this? Cavill's, Cavill's part of the plan must work now. So, uh, Yusuke and uh, Yokitate, Fire Wizard, uh, they've done their part na. They were able to rescue the hostages. So, si Cavill na lang, yung, yung part na lang yan sa plan na to. So yun nga, nag-separate nga sila eh. separate sila. But, wow, okay. I never thought, okay, again, I never thought Yusuke was this ruthless. Okay? He would probably be the most ruthless gamer you will ever meet. Okay, so, sinabi niya nun eh. Huwag na natin pakilaman ang mga buhay, ang, ang buhay ng mga nandito. We have our own lives to count on. We have our own lives uh, to to matter. Our own lives matter. Yeah, yon. And of course, sempre inaalala rin niya yung the countless lives they have left dun sa sa totoong mundo. Right? Kaya nga I'm standing on 1 million lives. Um title ng anime na to. Right? So we, we medyo medyo gets ko na yung, medyo nagegets ko na yung flow ng story ah. Nagigets ko na yung storyline ng anime na to. So overall, okay? So overall, it's a really good episode. 
Okay? It's a really good episode. Mainly because um, this is probably the most ruthless plan Yusuke has ever has ever come up with. Kasi may namatay, may namatay na isang tao. Okay? Kasi we all know, bawal silang pumatay ng tao sa mundong yun. But, due to his plan, they already did. So as a consequence, pero hindi, siya lang yata yung nag-rockdown. No? Siya lang yung nag-rockdown because of, um, because of the casualty. Siya lang yung nag-rockdown. Now, this poses another question for the next episode. Bakit siya lang? Bakit si Yusuke lang? Alright? So, the pace, uh, yung pacing, yung flow. Okay? Okay. Okay siya. Yung flow at saka yung pacing. It's highly understandable kasi um, two-pronged, two-pronged yung plano eh. It's a two-pronged plan yung yung device ni, ni Yusuke for, for this. For them to achieve the quest. Alright? For them to achieve the quest and rescue the hostages at the same time. Okay, so, nag- nagdalawang, nagdalawang team sila. Okay? So, I'm standing on One Million Lives Episode 8. Two thumbs up. Okay? Two thumbs up. Talagang wow. Okay? I don't know if you should, um, ako personally, I'm impressed with Yusuke. The character development for this guy. Wow. Okay. Mabilis. Eight episodes in. Ngayon pa lang. And. Okay. Remind, reminder, guys. Reminder, mga ka-lifestyle. We have already started the road to the finale of this anime. Kasi episode eight na. Okay. Five episodes. Yan ang road to the finale. So. What? a time for um, for Yusuke's character to develop sa episode 8 pa the road to the finale <laughs> it will probably serve him well in the last few episodes okay talagang ano eh he has asserted himself as the leader of this party as the leader of their group si Yusuke being what being being the only gamer the only legitimate gamer uh, of the group. Being the only legitimate gamer. Kaya ang lawak na experience niya. Tsaka yung... <clears throat> ang na-develop dito kasi yung moral code niya. Okay? We are in a game. Okay? It's not... Uh, it's not that we're... It's not that we're dealing with actual human lives here. Okay? The militants are the villains. Siyempre, good versus evil yan. Lives... Lives will be lost. So, yun ang, yun ang, that's a fact that uh, Yusuke has already accepted as early as as early as episode 1. Okay? Pero, lumebel up dito. <laughs> lumebel up yung lumebel up yung moral code niya rito. Alright? Tsaka yung resolve niya. Dito na, dito lumebel up yung, yung dalawang yun. So, again, I'm standing on 1 Million Lives Episode 8 2 thumbs up it, A very deserving 2 thumbs up Although Although yung fight scenes Hindi ko na masyado Kasi Talagang May pinailan silang plano That will uh, That will clear Clear the air That will clear the air on both aspects On several aspects of this quest so, episode 9, well, bring it on. Okay. Bring it on. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's episode 25. Wow. After suffering his worst loss, Yugo comes back with his own maximum monster. Pero, it's at the end. It's at the expense of um, yung mga accounts nila, nila Gakoto, ni Romin, tsaka ni Luke. Okay. So, kung maga para makagawa siya ng bagong card, uh, he reactivates the Rush Duel programming. So, uh, in Duel, pag burot niyang ganun, nakagawa na siya agad ang maximum monster. Alright? 
Final scene, na ilabas niya yun. Um, Neil was already ahead in the match, in the duel. So, final scene, ayun, na ilabas niya yung Maximum Monster, doon natigil yung episode. Right? Wow! Okay? <clears throat> to duel Neil that quickly, to challenge him to a duel that, um, that fast, at doon pa sa duel museum ng go, ng go ka nangyari. Okay, so, there's uh, debris falling around. Wow. Alright. <clears throat> Kasi, well, titignan ninyo eh. Gumawa na sarili niyang card si Neil. Uy. Gumawa na sarili niyang, sarili niyang card si Yuga. Alright. Tit for tat. Neil has the leverage. Yuga has the tech. So, talagang, wow. Okay. This is the arch rivalry of the century. Alright? The arch rivalry of the century is born dito sa episode na to. So overall, okay? So overall, it's a it's a mind-blowingly good episode. Okay? To have the lead, to have the main protagonist create his own create his own maximum monster. Okay? Just to, just to duel his, uh, what you call this? His, uh, to, the, uh, the now main antagonist. Okay? If that's, if that's not an arch rivalry to you, I don't know what is. Okay? Yung base, of course, the duel. The duel script is really good. Although, we've only seen half of it. Okay? Ganito pa lang, Kalahati pa lang, maganda na yung, yung dual script. So, the overall pacing, flow, I did not expect Yuga to challenge Neil that fast. Doon means the dual, nung nagkita sila uli sa dual museum. Sa dual museum pa. Alright? I believe that uh, this duel is pay, now paying homage to, to the old school, uh, to the old school series. The old school trilogy. Alright? So, Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's episode 25. Two thumbs up and a big toe. <laughs> two thumbs up and a big toe. Okay? So, what are we going to expect in um, in the next episode? I don't know. But no spoilers. Pero, ito, ito, masa, ito pa masasabi ko sa episode na to. It is so mind-blowing that, well, Konami should now release the rules regarding the Maximum Summon, okay? Ilabas yun na Konami on, on the exact mechanics on, on how to do the Maximum Summon. Okay? For everyone, for everyone who is doing, uh, who is uh, playing Rush Duels right now, okay? for their sake na lang, wag na lang kami mga, mga, mga OCGers, wag na muna kami. Right, wag na muna kami. We're, we're just content right now with the anime. Okay? To, for us to even think that the Maximum Summon is going to, is going to also debut in the OCG, wag muna. <laughs> Sa mga Rush Duels muna. Sila muna. Alright? Sa mga Rush Duelers muna. So again, Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's episode 25, two thumbs up. Right, a a maximum summon type of two thumbs up. I just can't wait for the episode. Okay, I just cannot wait for the next episode, the the conclusion of this duel, yung Yuga versus Neil two. All right, the arch, another great Yu-Gi-Oh arch rivalry has been born. All right, yun lang. King's Raid Episode 8. <clears throat> now you may, uh, you're probably wondering why I'm, uh, why am I redoing this? Because, well, I simply forgot to record the first, the, uh, the original review. So, bear with me. Now, we're um, talking about an episode here that's uh, quite heartwarming and um, quite empowering, actually. Kasi nag-focus dito 
ang anime kay kay Frey, yung priestess. <clears throat> They came across this town, this very small town na na tuloy, tuloy pa rin ginugulo ng mga demons. Alright? So, this So, they decided to to crash in this town muna para makapagpahinga and para tulungan yung mga tao. She meets this little girl <clears throat> na na nakita mismo yung pagkamatay, yung paano, paano pinatay ng mga demons yung nanay niya. So, yeah, that, that is, that's a traumatic experience, alright, for a child. So, tinulungan ni Frey and, well, got her back into got her back into the thick of Got her, got her back into society as uh, so to speak then yun uh, even to the point of saving her from from a caterpillar parang a worm demon dalawa yun actually napati nila pareho ni Castle okay napati nila pareho yun so overall it's um, it's quite an empowering episode right uh, for something that will uh, what you call this I think the animators wanted to, uh, what you call this? As I was saying, it's an empowering episode. The flow, the pace, talagang pang for ano yun? Ang intent talaga ng animators is to empower us with a uh, with a lesson of empathy, compassion, and public service. Okay, doing service to others. Right? You don't need to be a politician. to serve others. All right, tandaan niyo 'yan. Okay? <laughs> so again, overall, it's it's an empowering episode. So, King's Raid episode 8. I'm a sucker for moral lessons. Two thumbs up. Okay? Well, what was the moral lesson of this episode? Well, like I said kanina, You need to uh, you need to feel empathy and compassion at all times. Kasi you may never know when these people are going to help you in your time of need. Right? So, again, King's Raid episode 8. Two thumbs up. Yashahime episode 8. Now, it's a bit of an eye-opening episode. I just reviewed it. I just reviewed it kanina. Napatay ni Setsu na si Yotsume. And with all three of with all three of them. So, but all three of them go for the um, <clears throat> go for that um, sort of slam bang finish against uh, si Serato. I forgot, I forgot the name of that, that four pair of si, you know, Ryuki, si, Ryu, si Ryuki yata. <clears throat> Lumabas na yung Azure Dragon Wave ni, ni Toa, okay? being the daughter of Sasumaru. She, yun ang kumaga, she is the, she's one of the heirs of, of that ability of his. So, uh, what you call this? Unconsciously nagamit niya. consciously. Now, hindi ko maintindihan to si ano eh, si, si Rico. Alright? Pero 60%, I'm assuming that he is the real enemy here. Okay? Nagpapagap na na kaibigan. Okay? Nagpapagap na na kaibigan. Now, I don't know what his lineage is. We all don't know what his lineage is. And why does he hate the four perils that much? Okay? So, ang four pairs, dalawa na lang. Okay? Yung dalawa, yung dalawa, napatay na ng tatlo eh. Napatay na. So, dalawa na lang sila. So, for every peril pala, may rainbow pearl. Kinukuha ni Rico. So, event, tingin ko ah, eventually, he will get four. Tapos, yung tatlo na lang, yung tatlo na lang nandun sa, sa mga Yasahime, ang tatargetin niya. I don't know what I don't know what his uh, what his plan is, what his game is, okay? what his deal is with these seven pearls. Dito ko na lamang na okay, seven seven rainbow pearls pala ko, corresponding to the seven colors of the rainbow. How dumb of me! <laughs> How dumb of me! And um, 
Kumbaga. And Takechio loves gummies. <laughs> Overall, okay? Overall, it's a it's a good episode. Okay? It's a good episode. <clears throat> maraming ano eh. Maraming tanong ang ang lumitaw dito eh. Maraming tanong ang lumitaw sa sa what you call this sa sa episode na to. Okay? Especially during the dream gaze sequence. Maraming ano eh. May mga, may mga tanong na hindi nasagot eh. But as siguro as the um as the series goes it will answer those questions. <clears throat> so all I, all we have to do is all we have to do is watch it through. Okay? All we have to do is um, watch the entire anime uh, this anime series through. So, Yashahime episode 8. Two thumbs up. Okay? Bakit? Kasi may mga complication eh. Because of those questions, well, as you know, unanswered questions come complications. Yan lang ano yan eh. Yan lang, yan lang ang parallel yan eh. With unanswered questions come complications. So, Ano ang complicated dito si Rico. Right? We do we still don't know what his agenda is. Okay? And Takechio, we know a bit now of his past. If you've seen uh the dream sequence in, involving uh, the young Takechio, si Miroko ang ang nakaampon pala sa kanya, binigay siya kay Jubei. Right? So so, he is the son of Hachi. Okay. Kakampi nila Inuyasha yun. Uh, the, um... Kumbaga, he's the lord, he's the, um... He's, he's the lord of the raccoon demons. Kaya kita mo, mukhang raccoon si Takechio. Kaya pala. Kaya pala. Okay. <clears throat> he is the son of Hachi. Na kaibigan nila, na kaibigan ng, kaibigan nila Inuyasha yun. Kaibigan ni Inuyasha. Wow, okay. I'm very sure down the road, down the road, all these questions, questions will be answered. Tsaka yung, yung isang dream gaze do, yung isang dream sequence involving the baby Moro ha? Tsaka syempre mga magulang si Inuyasha at si Kagome. Have you seen that? Inuyasha is about to face both Sesumaru and Benimaru. Okay. Tatay niya at saka yung kapatid niya. Okay, what's the deal with that? What's the deal with that? Parang hindi ko napanood yun sa final act eh. Yung sa, sa final season ng Inuyasha. Parang wala yun eh. So, this, make this, this makes this all the more reason to watch this show. Kaya ganun. So again, Yasha Hime episode 8. Two thumbs up. Right? Two thumbs up. So we will we're going to wait for those questions to be answered. Kaya tutok lang tayo mga kalaisa, all right? Tutok lang. Yasha Hime is starting to be the true spin-off of Inuyasha. What are the Secret Drifa episode 8? This is actually a redo. <laughs> But anyway, uh, it's quite uh, it's quite an aftermath episode, and um, they've separated into two teams. One, which will um, enter Valhalla, yung bumu yung bumu ka parang portal, parang porthole, galing kay Claudia. Tapos yung isa naman uh, would go to their secret secret base na pinagawa ni Commander Satomi. Both were successful. Okay. Uh, they were able. The secret base team were able to refurbish uh, Miko's hero wing at saka yung tatlong jet fighter. So, laban na naman. So, Umasok sila sa circle sa area of influence ng primary pillar. Yun, inatake na, inatake na naman sila. Then, of course, um, 
Yender Sonoka, who, who's still coping with the loss. Still coping with the fact na uh, hindi siya makatulong. She can't fly, she can't fight. But, lo and behold, she's, she's got something to do right. She's got something to do right now. Dahil yung tinulungan niyang sa cafeteria, yung nagbibigay ng pagkain na babae, buntis pala. Mukhang mapapaanak. <laughs> Looks like she's going to she's going to help her. she's going to help that woman give birth, All right? Um, and uh, the usual comic relief of these uh, these the three lowly cons. All right? Did I did my ears serve me correct? One of them wants to marry Nico. <laughs> Hello? Wala 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 ba yata 13 years old yung wala ba yata 13 years old tung babaeng to? Gusto, gusto nyo ng pakasalan? Ano ba yan? You're grown men, damn it! Give, give the girl a life! But overall, it's a... Um, it's a really good episode. Okay? For an aftermath type of episode. It's really good. Dahil, uh, may konting... May konting... Uh, what you call this? May konting... Comic relief, of course, provided by the three lolicons. I now call them the three lolicons. And uh, from the second half of the episode onwards, it's now it's a race against time. Dahil to sa na discover nila Claudia and Azu, yung, yung yung team nila. And <clears throat> I don't. Uh, the plot, the flow, the pacing, all good. Okay? All good and understandable. It's easily digestible. Okay? You can easily digest this episode. Dahil, um, hindi siya, hindi siya in-express. Hindi siya in-express na kind of episode. And, yeah. It's a really good episode. Okay? It's a really good episode. So, Warlords of Secret Riva Episode 8 Two thumbs up okay. Two thumbs up So Well This is just a 12 episode run So Episode 8 Marks uh, Marks the road to the finale okay. So If you can uh, If you can If you can get it already Talagang feel I feel that the road that the road to the, the road to the finale has begun. Kasi second half of the episode pa lang, it's a race against time. Ne. They will need to know how to defeat the pillars and to get to the bottom of Odin's agenda. Alright? Namawala si Odin eh. Uh, na, namate, namatayan pa sila ng commanding general, si Gerald Okita. Namatayan pa sila. Ano pala yun? tate ng isang namatay na Valkyrie si General Okita so parang namatay sa labanan yung ano mag mag off yung makama right which is which is sad thing all right so the road to the finale has just begun and this episode had no teasers for the next one so talagang you will get you, ako I got I get the point the road to the finale starts now <laughs> episode eight so again Water of the Secret Trifa episode 8 2 thumbs up A Race Against Time 2 thumbs up So There were no teasers Well We'll just We will just have to uh, Watch the next episode Watch the last 4 The final 4 episodes from now on Kasi 9, 10, 11, 12 Apat na lang Alright So we will we'll have to watch them all just to find out uh, uh, if, if everything will work out well for the Valkyries. Alright, Jujutsu Kaisen Episode 8. Hindi ba nag-uumpisa yung exchange event? Nagkakainit tala sila. Eh, nagbubugbuga na. Kawawa si... Ano? Si... Sino ba yun? I forgot his name. Oh, the spiky here na kasama ni Yuji. All right. Yung nagko-command ng mga animal mga may mga animal spirits, 'yun. Kawawa sa dito sa ano? Yung 
isang senior niya. Grabe. <clears throat> And did you see the final scene? It's one month later. So, nakakalabas na si UG. So, he's investigating something na. So, masama na siya actually sa mga investigasyon na hindi kasama si Gojo. Siguro, it's, good, it's, part of his, it's part of his retraining. Right? It's part of his retraining. And, uh, wow, I can't wait. Pero teka, kasi one month later, tapos na exchange event. Diba? Kasi malapit na exchange event eh. Alright? So, I don't know. Okay? Kasi uh, ang, naging, ang naging highlight, eh, may, may iniimbestigahan si Yuji tsaka yung isang kasama niyang ano, uh, master. Uh, I think master ba yun or basta, basta ano niya, instructor niya. Uh, I remember that guy, instructor siya. Instructor din yun. Pero he's not the principal. Okay? He's not the principal. So overall, it's a, it's a really good episode. Okay? It's a really good episode. Bakit? Kasi, we got to meet new characters, potential allies, and If you've seen the the second to the second to the second to the final scene, a new enemy. All right. Um, I don't know how how this new enemy operates, pero by the way, I deduced it. Siya yung pumati sa tatlong tatlong high school students na pinag bayon pinag kumbaga ginawang ano eh ginawang ginawang clay. Ginamang clay model yung ulo, yung mga bungo, puta rakes. Akala mo eh, akala mo eh naglalaro, akala mo nagkay clay modeling eh. Walang yan, akala mo nagkay clay art eh. Wow, okay. If they have enemies as sadistic as, as this, I'm, I'm, gonna stick, I'm gonna stick around watching this anime. Okay? I'm gonna stick around. Okay, eh. Oh, siya, ganito pala kasadista mga magiging kalaban nila later on. Wow. Yuji needs to needs to speed up his pre-education. Okay? Kailangan na kailangan na siya talaga ng mga kasama niya. Mga kaibigan niya. Overall, yeah. Again, it's a really good episode. Yung pace, flow, tsaka yung episode plot. Okay. Okay na okay siya. Hindi boring because there are fight scenes, okay? Kahit between, kahit among students, the fight scenes are over. That fight scene is over the top, yung, ano, yung, sa unang part ng episode. So, Jujutsu Kaisen episode 8, two thumbs up. Alright? Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Now, what stops me is this. Bakit uh, Bakit in advance ng one month yung story yan? Alright? Bakit in advance ng one month ang story yan? That's what I wanna know. But hey, uh, this anime is slated for 24 episodes which so we got lots of time to find out. We have lots of time to find out. So, I'm gonna keep uh, I'm gonna keep a special tab on this episode. Kasi ano eh, medyo stop ako talaga eh. Clueless ako. Okay, as to why. Ba- bakit in advance ng isang buwan yung story. Yung storyline. Right? But anyway, again, Jujutsu Kaisen episode 8, two thumbs up. Alright? Alright? Two thumbs up. So, let's just wait for the next episode. Alright? I'm sure it's it'll be uh, it'll be just as exciting if not more exciting than this one more yardy the patriot episode 7 now uh, you're wondering about the changes soon because um, I inadvertently uh, deleted the first recording I I yeah my bad okay I'm sorry. So, we're gonna redo this review. So, like I said in 
the uh, oh, while, while I'm doing breakfast, of course. Like I said in that recording, if that ain't a screw job for you, I don't know what is. Okay, I don't know what is. <clears throat> I mean, Moriarty and his gang uh, devised this plan down to the last detail. All right. Talagang, talagang planado, masasabi nyo talaga. And the way, uh, the way Enders died, law enforcement agencies would would easily rule that off as a suicide. <laughs> Kasi, all right. <clears throat> Enders was being was being shot at by Moran. Okay, umaga pellet lang eh, pellet lang yung ginagamit ni Moran hindi hindi talaga bala. Right? Talaga, pellet lang. Yung poto. Oh, gaganon lang. I guess na bumitaw siya sa flagpole. Ayun, nahulog. Right? With that kind of a screw job, it won't pass off as a murder. But a suicide. <laughs> Grabe. This goes to show you how devious James Moriarty is. Alright? How much he hates the nobility. And he's Wow, and he's uh, and he's and he's proven that again in this episode. Overall, it's a devilishly good episode, if you ask me. It's a devilishly good episode. Because, okay, the pace, <clears throat> the flow, okay, which the pace and flow carrying over from the previous one, talagang seamless. <clears throat> Talagang seamless siya. Alright? And the highlight of... Well... And the highlight of this episode, well... Sherlock Holmes introduces himself formally to James Moriarty. Alright? <clears throat> if you ask me, the rivalry begun in this episode. Alright? The... What's called this? The, the hated rivalry. Right? Begun in this episode. Gabe. I am almost out of breath reviewing this episode, okay? Naragang <clears throat> ganong aganda to. And well, of course, the plot. Wow. Okay? Impeccable. So, More Yard of the Patriot episode 7. Hindi ko na makakalimutan yung episode number. Two thumbs up. Alright? Two thumbs up. Oops, sorry. Two thumbs up. I said, well, <clears throat> mission accomplished again. And, wow, talagang masasabi yung this nobleman deserves to die. Okay? This nobleman deserves to die. Talagang, uh, talagang, tinum, talagang tinumba siya ng gang ni Moriarty rito. In, in typical Moriarty fashion. And of course, well, Sherlock Holmes introduces himself. Yeah, okay. Those were the two highlights. Those are actually the two highlights of this episode. And there's his um, apparent suicide and, well, of course, Holmes introducing himself. Set up ng honey. <laughs> <clears throat> So again, Warrior of the Patriot episode 7, two thumbs up. And this also ends a mini arc. And we're going to start a new one. Wow. How exciting is this anime, huh? How exciting is this anime? So, Ikibukuro Westgate Park episode 8. Looks like Makoto now also takes um, uh, takes uh, his um, missions, investigations, even from the if, even from the Red Angels. Okay, so nakiusap sa kanya yung ano? Eh, nakiusap sa kanya yung uh, yung leader mismo ng Red Angels si Kyuichi, yung ballerino, okay? yung ballerino. So to help out this single mom who's currently being who was being bashed on social media. Parang gusto, parang gusto pa kanya ipatumpa yung mga nagpost eh, kasi nakawin niya yung mga pangalan eh. Hihihili. 
Ihihilera to, itutumban, itutumban na niya yung the machine gun. Yung mga machine gun niya, ihihilera. <laughs> Takay na niya. That's, that's, how, that's how ruthless gang leaders can be, okay? Uh, QHG is no exception because he is the leader of the Red... Because he's the founding leader of the Red Angels, okay? Siya ang founder ng Red Angels kasi. So, it's a new gang. Medyo, medyo established siya kasi G-Boys eh, yung pinanggalingan ni Makoto. Okay. Now, <clears throat> nalaman pala niya na ano pala eh, uh, merong kumausap na parang sex industry scout. Alright. Kumaga, humingi, humingi na ng tulong sa kanya ang, ang mga police. Yung family friend nilang police. So, they eventually stake out. They eventually stake the guy out. Aresto. Good. Ngayon, uh, yung namin ni Makoto, okay, talagang, eh, hindi talaga maalis yung pagka-helpful ng ano to eh, ng, ng pamilya to eh. Even Makoto's mother helped out in, uh, convincing uh, convincing Yui yung, yung mother ng bata na ipa, ipa foster care muna yung bata kasi halatang hindi na niya kaya eh. halatang hindi na niya kaya alagaan yung, yung anak niya uh, to the point na sinasaktan na niya ito kasi nahalata ni Mako to may bruises yung bata alright yeah it's, uh, it's really sad it's really sad Uh, final scene na yun. She eventually decided na ipa, ipa foster care muna yung bata. Hanggang sa makahanap siya ng, ng matinong trabaho. Alright. Uh, Makoto's mother helped her out. Kasi, bi, kasi Makoto, kasi Makoto's mother is herself a single mom. Yun pala, kaya pala siya na single mom, na-accidente pala ang tatay ni Makoto. He died in a car, he died in a car accident. So, She was left all alone to take care of him. Run the store. Uh, yun nga. Pero yun pala, um, pina-foster kayo. Hindi pala siya ng nanay niya. Hindi alam ni Mako to. Eh. So, it's a little funny. Pero, considering the atmosphere provided by the episode, uh, mostly it's a, it's a sad sight. Knowing na may, na may ganito pala mga single moms sa Japan. I don't know. Alright? But anyway, Overall, it's a really um, uh, an overly relevant episode, which makes it really good. Bakit? Kasi, well, marami single mom ngayon. Alright. <clears throat> They decided to take care of their kids without asking the help of the father. Kasi minsan, most of the time kasi yung, yung nakabuti sa kanila eh, deadbeat. Alright. Mabuti sana, mabuti sana kung maalagang lalaki. I don't know. Most of the time, they, these deadbeats father children without without taking response, without uh, without being accountable for them. Alright? So, as a result, maraming single mom ngayon na barely making ends meet. Okay? This is a very relevant episode even here. Okay? Even here in the Philippines. Hindi lang nangyayari to sa Japan actually. All right? Kay dito sa Pilipinas nangyayari nito. Even here in the Philippines, it happens. Okay? So, pace, flow, super. Uh, talagang not exactly an eye-opening episode, but uh, probably it's most socially conscious episode ng ng anime na to. So, Ikibukuro Westgate Park Episode 8 Two thumbs up Alright Two thumbs up I'm I'm an absolute sucker these days for for life le- for animes that have life lessons Okay, so IWGV is no exception They they have tackled every um, every social issue almost every social issue there is at least in at least that's the one that's happening in Japan. Okay, pero some of those social issues are even happening here in the Philippines. Kaya medyo kaya medyo relate ako. Lalo na na sa case na to. Because well, I have a cousin who's also who, who for a time was a single mom. 
I have a, I have a, I have a, I have a first cousin na talaga nagano ng situation na noon before before she met her husband now. Yeah, I'm too relate ako, all right? I'm too relate ako. So again, Ikibukuro Westgate Park episode 8. Two thumbs up. A very socially conscious two thumbs up, all right? So, oh, sorry guys, no teasers. Pero ang na- ang pinagtatakan ko, hindi nila tinuloy yung nangyari sa previous nangyari sa episode 7. Kasi 1 2 I guess I guess they'll be they'll be concluding that in other episodes. Or itong nangyaring ito sa episode 8 konektado sa well, sa pagiging finale or sa finale ng mini arc na to. All right? We've yet, uh, it's yet to be seen. We'll have to wait for the next episode. But, mind you mga lifestyle the road to the finale of this anime has just, uh, has begun. Kasi episode 8 na. This one is slated for 12 episodes. Alright? So, tutok na. Bless episode 8. Um, it's quite uh, what's called this. Uh, we found out, we found several things out here. Talagang uh, what's called this. There's there's a hint that clan leader na rin si Sera. Kasi uh, may mga clans clans yan before before Lord. Uh, ano, they all came. They all come from a country called Lucidonia. Okay, yung mga nobles. Even Rizel. So, and Rizel pala is their, talagang is their lord. Nobles. Tinatawag na nobles. So, wow. Okay. The second half of the story now, constant focus on Frankenstein's backstory. He's a wanted criminal in Lucidonia. Okay. Now, I don't know how Rizel uh, made him submit to his will. Pero, I'm sure we're gonna find that out in the next episode. Kaya, medyo, yeah. Uh, although there, there there were no fight scenes except for the origin story, uh, except for the backstory part, overall, yeah, it's a good episode. It's a good episode. Kasi, yung backstory ni Frankenstein, uh, na explain na mabuti. Okay. And um like his and the and even Rice's own backstory. Parang pahapyaw. Parang may ano ko. Para sa akin pahapyaw pa lang yun. It's just a uh, it's just the tip of the iceberg or the introduction to the novel. <laughs> okay. But again, overall it's a, it's a good episode because you have not the well, the, st- the animation studio had to do set up episodes, particularly for uh, for something bigger. Now, if this is an, if this if this episode is an indication of something bigger, they've done a really good job at it. All right, pacing, flow, plot, it's really good. But yeah. I don't see any kind of uh, any kind of hitch any kind of hitch on this episode. So, Noblesse episode eight, two thumbs up. A um, modest two thumbs up, right? Well, mainly because of Frankenstein's backstory. We now know how evil he was and how. Um, and how uh, and how his hatred for for nobles consumed him almost consumed him okay. siguro ang naging lifesaver niya rito talaga si Rizel okay. which he was more than willing to to uh, to become uh, to become a servant to okay. kasi uh, we all know we all know kung gano'ng kalaka si Rizel okay. 
or um, someone as compassionate as Rizel, you, you gotta you gotta think. Frankenstein has to give credit to that. So by submitting by submitting himself to his will, to to Rizel's will. Okay, and we all know how you see it in the episode how how strong he can be. Putak ina may soul weapon pala sa sarili. Dark spirit ang tawag niya. Pero it almost, um, it almost ate him alive sa sobrang lakas. Kung baga parang pinalabas na niya yung, yung tunay niya kapangyarihan dun eh, sa dark spirit na yun. And which, uh, which at, for a few moments, was, was trying, was trying its darndest to control him. So, talaga nakakatakot. Okay? Kung baga, nilalaso na siya na sarili niya kapangyarihan. So he had to, yeah, he had to retreat. But accidentally, he went into Rizal's home. So yun, do sila, nag, do sila nagkita. Maybe it was the, probably that was the first time they met. First time they met each other. So, maganda yung maganda yung backstory. Okay, maganda yung, yung, pinang, yung, pinang, yung pinanggalingan ni Frankenstein. Alright? Now we know, he's a wanted criminal in Lukidonia. He's a wanted criminal. And the only one that uh, that is currently absolving him is Rizel himself, okay. the the, uh, the the Lord of Lukidonia, the the bless. Okay. So kung maga interpretation mo don, parang uh, it's it's a sort of punishment for him, eternal punishment to serve Rizel for all for all eternity. Parang ganon yun. Eh. So again, the bless episode eight. Two thumbs up. Alright. Two thumbs up. Can't wait for the next episode. Alright. I just can't wait for the next episode. Hindi na tini teaser. So, tutok lang tayo mga lifestyle. Alright. Tutok lang tayo. So, Akudama Drive episode 8. It's quite an aftermath episode, to be honest. Alright. Karina ni Doctor yung pagiging ano niya eh. Yung pagkakalaglag niya sa mga iba niyang kasama. Alright? Everybody's on the run. It's because of her. Everybody's on the run. And, well, si Swindler or ordinary, pers- or ordinary person, uh, she now has to survive on her own. At bitbit pa niya tong isang immortal na bata, si Sister. Although she does, although sister doesn't need protection, kasi patay mo man siya, mabubuhay na lang siya uli. Alright? How convenient. She runs, in, she runs into some, some thugs, napatay niya yung dalawa, yung huli, tinuno, ano, dinisable ni courier, who suddenly came to help. Ayun nga, final scene, umagri siya na, na tulungan si ordinary person na, dalin yung dalin yung bata kung, kung saan nandun yung kapatid niya si brother so mo well, it's now official the race to the finale has just begun for this anime okay so baka dyan ano eh baka sa ganun may mag, magtatapos ito tandaan nyo ako dama drive is scheduled for 12 episodes so kung road to the finale that's episode 8 mm. episode 8 Right. So overall, for an aftermath episode, it's really good. Okay, it shows uh, every shows where everybody. It's, it actually shows where everybody is. Okay, even cutthroat. Nato dito sa ano? Kasi pinagbagsak ng ng command module na sila kanilang rocket nila sister chani ordinary per the ordinary person. Andun din siya, pero hindi siya nakita nila, hindi siya, hindi siya nakita. Now, he wants to hunt, he wants to hunt both of them down. I don't know why. He's the, well, he, he's the craziest amongst all the Akodama, okay? He's the craziest. Kaya nga siya, kaya nga siya bibitayin nun ng episode 1 eh. Bibitayin na siya nun eh. Ng mga executioner eh. So, flow, pacing, Okay. 
it's not that fast right now kasi syempre ipapakita dapat kung where everybody is for everybody where everybody is right so they did a good job in showing showing the viewers on on where everybody is at okay ganda ganda siya so ako dama drive episode 8 two thumbs up all right two thumbs up i'll tell you why my main reason why it's not boring all right it isn't usually but usually if it's an aftermath episode uh, it's kind of dragging a lot the pacing is so dragging nope not this okay? not this after what happened in episode six and seven good carry over right really good carry over guys Talagang Sambahina Studio Piro. <laughs> Sambahina Studio Piro. Alright. They over delivered and they gave us another quality anime. They gave they're giving us another quality anime right now. And the road to the finale has just begun for this anime. Kaya magadang uh magadang episode 8 ito. I said the road to the finale in the 12 episode run is uh five. Usually five yan eh. in any uh, in any anime. So, kung 12 episode run yan, episode 8 ang umpisa. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Makes sense, di ba? So, if you're, if you're about to, if you're about to, if you're about to end an anime, you might as well do it 5 episodes early. So, yun na. I'm wondering kung ano magiging katapusan nito. So, again, Ako Dama Drive episode 8. So, thumbs up. Alright? Two thumbs up. Next episode has been teasered. Wow. Okay. Now for episode eight, hindi ko matanda ko merong ane eh, kung merong uh, kung merong movie na entitled The Black Rain. But I'll do my research on that. All right. So see you guys in the next episode. Maka lifestyle. See you in the next episode. Hiko Rashi 2020 episode 9. Okay. Uh huh. <clears throat> Maybe for every mini arc, there is a. Uh, not exactly a side story, but, uh, but a backstory to each of the four girls. Kasi, natakal na natin. Natakal na natin yung kay Rena, which culminated in. He, her and Keiichi stabbing each other, all right. Her and Keiichi killing each other, all right. Just one of the wow, probably the most disturbing episode so far of this uh, this reboot. Tapos nag focus na rin tayo kay Myun, all right. Then I think we're now hearing, <clears throat> I think we're now watching uh, Sato's side of the story, all right. Eh. Kasi, right now, this episode is focused on Satoko, okay? the prankster. Yung prankster ng grupo. Okay? Yung prankster ng barkada nila. She knows how to cook. She can uh, she can also hold her own in sports. Parang do, do it all siya. And she's the shortest. Ha? <laughs> siya pa ang pinakamaliit. Siya pa ang pinakamaliit na... Siya pa ang pinakamaliit sa kanila lahat. Um... <clears throat> and the final scene, okay? The final scene, medyo napapaisip ako. Who is this guy? He's she's calling Uncle Tepe. Uncle Tepe. Okay. How is this? Uh, kasi unang part ng episode pinakita na. All right. This guy's a loser. All right. How is he actually related to Satoko? Right? So, nanaman din natin dito na patay na pareho magulang ni Satoko. Supposedly, cursed. Right? Cursed. Tapos yung kuya naman niya, lumaki sa hinang misawa to avoid the curse. And he is actually a, um, 
is actually a pro baseball player kasi yung Hinamizawa kasi may sariling baseball team na Hinamizawa Fighters. He is part of that team. So, pro. consider na! Hindi. Kasi malita na tao. Baka semi-pro. Semi-pro baseball player siya. And because of the curse, he leaves Hinamizawa para hindi siya abutan. Alright? I guess he... I guess he got freaked out by how how his, how how their parents died. All right, I don't blame him. I don't blame him. Overall, it's a um, it's a decent episode. Okay, it's a decent episode. <clears throat> Particularly, um, Satoko's actual backstory. Na yung pala na nalalaman natin. And of course, this Uncle Tepe guy. Okay? So, naintriga ako. Naintriga ako sa, <clears throat> amongst all the girls, kay Sato ako na ngayon naintriga. Okay? Maraming, wow, mukhang maraming issues ito si Sato ko. Now, as to the pacing, the flow, the, uh, the plot, okay lang. Okay lang. Okay lang siya. But, I miss the creepiness, okay? I, I wasn't exactly creeped out in this episode, to tell you frankly. To tell you frankly, mga ka-lifestyle, I wasn't actually creeped out by this episode. So, Higurashi 2020 Episode 9 I need to give it this kind of rating I need to, I need to give this kind of rating But uh, This episode uh, Compelled me to Give it this Bakit? Kasi well, Like I said kanina I wasn't creeped out Alright Higurashi is supposed to creep me out Okay The last The last seven or eight episodes, talaga na creep out ako. All right, maybe, uh, maybe Sato's story isn't isn't that creepy or disturbing, pero there's something to it. Eh. Okay, there's something to it that makes me think. So, pero it's not enough to give it a high rating. So again, Higurashi 2020 episode 9. So we'll just have to wait for part two of this mini arc. Okay. Yeah, we're in a mini arc again. So, uh, new streaming schedule on on Twitch. And wow, I'm more comfortable uh, putting together putting together this digest or this particular digest. And future digests, right? I no longer compress it on on just one day. Now, um, with the new streaming schedule, I can now make any outro as uh, with enough energy and well as comfortable as I can. Okay. I don't have to rush things. I don't have to. I don't have to rush this outro. All right. <laughs> And well, this week is also full of. Well, for me it's full. Yeah, it's it's been a week of disturbing endings. Although it may not uh, show in in my reviews of them, uh, the animes in question, but believe me, when I made those B rolls, yep. I look back at it now. It's really disturbing. <laughs> it's really disturbing. All right. So, yep. If you have a flair for the disturbing, this is your digest. Well, you've probably proven that already. If not, you wouldn't be watching this outro, would you? So again, my lifestyle. Thank you for watching this digest this far and thank you also for 
uh, watching these reviews firsthand on Twitch, for being there on Twitch to um, to get me through this, get me through the first week of the new stream sked. It's been a all this. It's been a um, a more happier week production wise for me if it weren't for you guys so well all I can say is right now until we meet again in the next digest and please don't forget these all right and if you see it this one right if you haven't followed me on twitch okay see you around Maha lifestyle